<laughs> okay, so I took Grayson out to the ballpark this afternoon and I did it alone, so <laughs> you'll see. Hold on, I'll show you, like, right here. Yeah. So, basically, I was doing this all by myself, and so it's probably not the most ideal thing. And as you can see, he's watching me um, more than he's doing anything else. So, anyways, um, but I'm going to try to make something out of it anyways, because I think it'll be um, really neat if I can pull it off. So this is going to be kind of trial and error for you guys. So, um, whatever I'm doing, just go with it. <laughs> I don't like all this crab in the bag either, but, and I didn't really move it cause I was just doing whatever. Um, so the main one that I think turned out good was probably the very first one that I took and you'll see on the video, I took video of, um, me doing this. So you can kind of see how I set everything up. So I think that'll work out really well um, and you'll be able to see all of that um, as well. So anyways, and my computer just completely shut down just a second ago because I plugged in a space heater because I'm freezing to death. Um, I know and it's only like, I don't know what it is outside, but it's not cold enough for me to be freezing, but I always am. Okay, so here we go. This is the main one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him in it or move to something else. I just haven't decided yet because I've got a couple of other ones that I tried to keep in here that kind of I feel like will match. Um, and obviously I didn't get the pitching machine out because it was just me. I kind of like that one. Um, but I need to find a ball to probably put in there too. I like that one, but he's not actually swinging. So I'm going to hit five on that one and keep it. I like that one too, but I don't think it's going to work. And since I didn't have my flash on it, um, I didn't freeze his motion and I didn't turn my shutter speed up. So there you go. Yay me, right? <clears throat> now I kept this one for a little bit of the, um, the blue smoke around it there as well as that one and even this one. Um, so anyways. We're just going to go in here and do this. Uh, I think what I'll do is hit all the five star ones real quick. And I've kind of already touched them up just a little bit. I mean, they don't have to be major. The only thing I might want to do here is I'm going to select these two. And if you don't know this trick, it's really awesome. And hold on, I got to go to develop first. It's really uh, cool. And especially like if you're chasing little kids around and your exposure kind of jumps back and forth because you're going back and forth on your settings. So if I can find, oh here it is. It's under settings, match total exposure. So basically it takes the exposure from this very first one um, and puts it onto this one so he's the same thing. And uh, let me see. Yeah, he just, because there wasn't as much flash in this one, he's a little bit more warm. So I'll take that out. And I guess I shouldn't mess with the exposure because that was the whole point of it. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will start with the main one that I like, which is this one, and, um, I don't know. We'll do these three and see how they work. How about that? And my Photoshop, uh, I'm not my Photoshop, but my computer, um, shut down like I said a while ago so I don't even know what's going to pop up in Photoshop. I don't remember what I was working on before it auto saved the last time. So, Anyways, there we go. 
Oh, are these going to come up or not? Oh, well, that's great. So. I was working on a lot of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let that stuff load up and then we'll go on to this a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so here was my main one, and I, it's not that I mind this one. In fact, I like it, but he's not hitting a ball, and that was kind of the point is that I want that to happen. So I'm going to try the hard one first and see if there's even an option, right? So I'm going to go up here to, let's see. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm going to go up here to my quick selection and I'm going to quickly, as it says, select him. And I'm going to have to go in here and obviously do some different things. It's not like, um, yeah. So basically what happened was afterwards I took, a, I took some backup um, images just in case I needed to fill something in, which is kind of what I try to do. So that's why I have these extra ones of him here and we'll go in a little bit closer and his batting cracks me up but you can tell that um, there's a lot of blur in the bat because he was swinging hard and my flash wasn't on and all that stuff but this was just a little afternoon little thing that we did because I wanted to get out and do something fun my um I was gonna have a session this afternoon but it was so dreary and apparently there's smoke coming in from Alabama and Georgia that's messing messing everything up and covering up our sun and I don't know about this super moon I thought it was supposed to be tomorrow night but people will be posting stuff tonight so I could be wrong hopefully it's tomorrow night and maybe this um, smoke will be out of here so I'm gonna try to get as much of his pants and all that in and the bat of course because the bats you know pretty important it, it is a baseball image um, and I don't know I don't know what I just said there I don't know, when I updated my Photoshop recently, the Refine Edge tool um, has changed and I haven't really played around with it a lot, so um, I don't know what to tell you on that. It may not be exactly what I think. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit Command J and then I'm going to put him on his own layer and we'll kind of see, I mean I did an okay job, I guess. So let's see if there's any possible way that we're going to be able to put him in this image and make it look right. So let me put this down here. Okay, so I don't think it looks bad. I, that bat though was terrible, like just terrible. So that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Let me look at something real quick. Uh, is this was this it? Let me see. Let me see if I go step backwards. So I wonder if I grabbed my quick selection tool and added a little bit around it here, if that would make it any better. Or maybe I'll try the new thing that I was talking about. Uh, see, so I, I don't know about any of these settings on here because this is just new, but I wonder if I did something like that and let's take some of that back out. I could mask that back out, I guess, huh? So let's hit OK there and um, put him on his own layer and drag him back over here and turn the old one off um, here. So basically, I would end up cloning Grayson out of the other one, you know, out of the background there if I decide that I want to keep this one. It's just going to depend on if we think we can use it. So I'm going to add a layer mask here and I'm going to grab a black brush at a pretty decent hardness and maybe not 100% opacity. Um, oh, and it also needs to be a black brush so I can start doing this number here. And we'll get in kind of close. Um, hold on a second. All right, so let me see here on this if I can do. So basically, I'm just trying to keep this bat in. Um, and I want to keep the blur in, but I also want to make sure that I'm getting all the smoke in because that's kind of the point here, right? <clears throat> 
So I'm just going to keep working in a little bit closer and a little bit closer here. And um, I definitely don't want to do that. In fact, I think I took some of some of this off and I'm going to need to probably put some of that back in. So as you can see, this is going to be a difficult kind of task, but we might could do it. You never know. You never know until you try, right? So I'm going to go around here. Y'all can see why my back hurts all the time. I never sit up whenever I'm doing anything on my computer. So maybe now we'll bring our hardness down a little bit and maybe bring it to like 60 and kind of come around. So we're just blending it just a little bit. So you can kind of turn him on and off and see what we've done here. Um, there were definitely some places that we're going to need to go back in and turn our hardness up. And that's going to be like right in here because we don't want um, any of that to show up there. Not that part, just this. See, it's kind of hard to tell what you're doing when you've got him still in the background. So here's what we're going to do real quick um, to go ahead and try to help us out with this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start trying to clone him out from the background. And so we're working on a duplicate layer back there so that we're not messing anything up. Um, you know, should we just decide that we don't like anything that we've just done here? But as you can tell, like it's kind of helping us figure it out where he is and where he's not and what we've done as far as this goes. So right now we know that we need to go back in here oops, um, with a white brush actually at 100% and bring some of him back in because we took some of that off a while ago, not realizing it. So there's that. Um, and then right in here, we need to do the opposite of that. But I'm going to turn that down to like 60 and try to get in there a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, you'll go back and forth on this a lot. And then we'll go back again to this little duplicate background later and move it off. Um, like that. So, there we go. I'm trying to figure out if we did this or if I didn't get enough of his belt or what. I have a bad habit of, um of um, masking on the wrong layer like on the actual layer but so you can see we're getting them in there pretty good I mean you can see um, now the one thing that I might want to do and I don't know if this is going to be possible but we're certainly going to look really quick here um, is I want to bring in some of the light from that flash back there which means his pants might look a little weird so let's see if we can do that um, we might not can um, and he's, his, God, his pants are so dirty. <laughs> so let me see if I can free transform a little bit so I can keep, I'm going to end up messing his batting stance up. Hold on. Never mind. Let me try something else real quick. Let me go back and undo what I've just done. Let's put his pants back on the way they're supposed to be. Let's do something else. Um... Really quickly, I'm going to get out what was behind him there. Oh, that did not work out well. And I think that it did not work out well. Here, let's do this. I'm going to do the structure there. I'm going to play with the structure and the color up here and see if that helps us. Yeah, that helped a little bit for sure. And then I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm, I'm going to go in here and see if I can also do the same thing there. That's working. We'll have to clean that up just a little bit, as you can see. But um, so there we go there. So what I really want is to get. So maybe this is what I do. On this background layer, I'm going to hit um, my clone tool, and I'm going to clone that out over here. If you see what I'm saying. But what I probably should have done is go ahead and bring my flow up because I definitely want, I want it to, you know, look the way that it's supposed to look. Um, I think that was a little bit too far over though. So let's try that one more time. All right. So right here 
and then move it over just a little bit so it's peeking out of the pants that he had on. Um, and then I'm going to mask some of what we just did back out. Y'all following me here? A little bit. I know it seems, you know, kind of crazy, but you do start getting it a little bit more the more that you practice. A lot of people won't try composites because they're just afraid to mess them up. But I mean, like, for something like this, what if I do mess it up? You know, it's my kid if that's what I want to, you know, if that's what I want to do. So, as you can see, we've pretty much taken him out. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in the background that we should probably clone out. And we probably should. We'll probably patch this just because I don't want, um, I don't want all of that. Why is that not letting me clone that? What is that? Oh, that was the extra one of him that I had, so I can take that out now. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I, I think I was cloning that probably on the, um, the mask. Oh, I shouldn't have been doing that. Which is like what I said I do all the time. I do it all the time. Um, let me go, let me step backwards just a little bit there because I think that I didn't do that great of a selection around his feet. So that's going to bother me if I take all of that out. Uh, so I may just mask a little bit of that out. But you see what I'm saying? It's really just a work in progress. You're just going in here and doing a bunch of stuff until you figure out what you're trying to do. Um, let's see. This I wanted gone because the bat didn't make any sense. Okay. So we had that, and I'm happy with what we've got, I think, so far. Let me just undo this a couple of times and make sure. Uh, the one thing I see here is that pocket is not supposed to be there. And for some reason, it doesn't want to let me do that. I can't figure out why. Okay. I think we, we can probably merge these two background layers there, and maybe that will solve our problem. There we go. So let's take this. We'll just take them on and off a couple of times and just make sure that, you know, we're doing what we should do and that we're getting whatever. Um, the only other thing I see is, like, right down here, I see a little bit. Um, there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But I am probably just going to go ahead and um, flatten this. You know, this image is mainly for me, so I'm not really, you know, whatever. What I could do is step backwards, step backwards. Okay, and I could save, I'll go ahead and save this as a PSD that way that I can, um, you know, if I screw something up, then I can come back and do it. So, here we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is, that one was super cute too. You know, I could even bring in that little flash between his legs right there if I wanted to. And that might actually give me a little, um, a little bit of light on his pants where I wanted it. And, you know, a little bit of extra stuff in the background. I don't know if his, I don't know if it's going to fit his batting stance, though. And that's something that you need to look for when you're doing baseball pictures. Especially when men are looking at them. Because they know what a batting stance is supposed to look like. <laughs> and some of you ladies do not. Alright, let's see. I think I'll just match up his pinstripes mainly um, on that. And we'll bring that back up to 100%. And then I'm going to go in here and do my same old, same old. Um, and really, I would like to keep some of that smoke, but I'm just not sure if that's really a possibility with what I'm doing right here. And we'll add some smoke in later. So, Anyways, I want to take that back off because I want to, to keep that that we, you know, brought in earlier. So I'm going to take all this off too, I think. Mm, let's see. I think I'm doing the opposite of what I wanted to do there. Nope. I'm doing the right thing. Such dirty pants. Okay. So let me just look real quick. Um, and there's some issues with his shoes here that we'll get to as well. Um... 
Let me just go in there and look real quick. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with them, but I'll probably just take care of that later. In fact, what I'll do right now is I'll probably get that because his foot would have been raised up while he was batting, I think. But anyways, we'll look at that in just a little while. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so there we go. So this is going to be pretty much like what we're going to start with here. Um, so there we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go back in here and let me look at some of the other images. So I have this one and I have this one. So I have some other ones that I can use to bring in um, some more smoke. So that's what I'm going to do with like this one. And at some point, I should probably take myself out from over there. And there's a couple of different things I'll probably do. For this one, I think I'm probably just going to end up um, reversing it here and doing something like that to see if I can get in some of that smoke on the other side. I'll have to see how much it matches up. It may not. <clears throat> but that's kind of what this is. It's just a bunch of trial and error. You know what I mean? Um, no, we can't, we don't want to, we don't want him in there. Um, so we'll just start, uh, going in here and we kind of want to keep our hardness, especially when you're dealing with smoke, you want to keep the hardness kind of, you know, whatever. So I'm going to go in here and, and put as much of this in here as I can. I might could even put some of, take me out right here. Awesome. I could, I did it. That's awesome. And, you know, just right in there. This whole bait shop thing bothers me, but I can take that out later, so I'm not that concerned about it. Um, we'll put some right in there, right in there. Um, we don't want to do that. Um, and so we can also duplicate this layer that we've just done and do the opposite. So I can invert. Did I do that? Oh. That's not what I want to do. Let me do it one more time. Right here, right here, and then hit OK. And then I'm going to invert it, right? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete this layer mask and put a new one on here. So I can just brush on what I want on there. Um, and then we'll go back in here and we'll use this the same way that we were doing the other one. Um, we can just add stuff in. So I can take that bait shop thing back out if I want to. I can take this out, you know, and, and where we have, where we accidentally added uh, Grayson back in here and all that stuff. And um, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just a bunch of trial and error. Let me take Grayson's bed out of this one. Oops. But you're just, you basically have your fingers on your X key so you can go back and forth and, and mask and unmask and this and that and, and all that. And you can buy... I, if I'm not mistaken, you can buy overlays that um, are like smoke bombs if you need a little bit of extra help to get some in there. And here's the thing. I don't even think I want it on the grass down here. So I'm going um, to I'm gonna take that back off the grass. I'm going to take it back off of some of these places just because I don't want, um, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily want to get rid of everything, right? And, you know, you can try different blending modes. Like if you wanted this to be um, a little bit of a darker smoke and you wanted this to be a little bit lighter of a smoke, um, you can do things like that. Um, so just to let you know. On these, I'm probably just going to keep them normal. And then we'll edit it and see what we think about it. One thing I am going to have a problem with is that I don't have a ball because, like I said, I didn't set up the pitching machine. Um, but I have other images that I can use and I almost had him do it one time and I didn't. Let me see if I can figure out one that I might have with an actual baseball on it because we'll need to put that in there. So while I'm waiting on that to happen, I'm going to flatten what I currently have in here. If I can. That's going to take a minute to load. Okay. So, I think on here, I'm just going to flatten this a little bit. 
um, if it'll let me. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of some of this um, crap that I don't want in here, like that. And of course, now that wants to come up. <laughs> and you might need to adjust your settings on here. So for this, um, you know, maybe the color, you might want to bring the color down or even the structure. You can just kind of play around with it and see what fits the best way. You know, sometimes you can just, my computer is taking a minute to catch up because it's, oh, I don't think I ever edited one of these. Oh my gosh, he is so dang cute. I need to edit one of those. Anyways, let me see if I can find a baseball one real quick. There we go. I am sure that I have got some picture of him throwing a ball um, on here someplace. But that's kind of what you have to do is just piece this stuff together and figure it out. So, all right, let's see. I don't know why it said I didn't have any flags. So this is the same location as you can see. It just looks different at night. And it probably would have been cooler to do it at night. And maybe I will do it at some point at night. But like I said, I wanted something to do today. So that was it. <laughs> And my computer is slow as heck. Certainly I got one of him batting here. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. Well, there's a ball up there. I don't know if that's going to be good enough for us. We'll have to see. Where's the ball? There's the ball coming off of his bat right there. So should I use that ball or that ball? I don't really think it matters. I think we're gonna um, do this. Okay. So let me let me minimize this. I don't need this all taking up space and stuff. So on this, this is gonna be very to the point. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna select this ball. <laughs> Nothing special about that. What I'll probably do is expand it um, maybe three pixels. That may be a problem whenever I go to do this, but we'll see. Oh, and I was working on this a while ago. Okay, so I'm going to hit my clone tool here. And since this is selected, all it's going to do is clone just what I have selected. Totally did not want to do that part. So there's that. And then I'll bring this in right here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just do this right there. We'll just, yeah. So that's obviously going to take a little bit of work when we come back to it. But that is my spot healing brush. And that still sucks. So <laughs> I'm just going to take, I'm going to take my clone tool at like 50% and fill it in just a little bit. And then we'll kind of come back to that. So as you can see, our ball here is kind of pitiful because I probably should not have expanded it. So I think I'm going to step backwards and not expand the ball. Um, and then drag it back over again. Maybe. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna turn that one off because that one's terrible. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of things with the ball. First of all, I want to make it big, which doesn't look right, I know, but we got to do a couple of things to it. Um, I'm going to clip a layer to it and make it bright. Um, turn the saturation a little, uh, we'll, we'll leave that there. I think I'll do a, um, what's that called? Color balance instead. But I really do need this saturation mostly out of it because it's a baseball. Um, we'll merge those layers and then I'll put the ball down to the size that it probably should be. Let me see. And I don't really know. What I'm thinking about doing is making this really small and doing a motion blur on it, which is not something that I normally do. Um, So, I don't know, we'll see, right? Like I said, you can always try it. I kind of like it. 
But you have to get it going in the right direction. I think the very first direction I had was probably the best direction. What do you think? It still needs to be like brighter or something. It's bothering me. Like it's got blue or something in it. I can't figure it out. So anyways, that's our, that's our pitiful little baseball there. I like it. I think it works. I think it works a lot. All right, so here we are now. Um, I'm going to flatten everything. I'm still not thrilled with all this crap in the back, but I mean, it is a baseball field, so you got to expect some of that. Um, let's see. I'm going to go in here with my spot healing brush, which I haven't really been like super thrilled with lately, but it's usually the quickest, and you can still see me over here a little bit. It's usually the quickest way, for the most part, to get things done. That's not always true. But for right now, it's working, so since I said it wasn't going to work well, or since I said that I wasn't liking it right now, now it's going to... It's like taking your kid to the doctor who was sick, and then you get there, and they're not, they're not sick anymore, or they don't act like they're sick anymore. So here we go. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole thing, but this is where we're going with it, so whatever. Um, so here we go. I'm going to do a little bit of editing here and we'll see what we think about it or if we need to add anything or take it away. Um, I'm going to inverse that and probably do bold beautiful skies behind him. That is a lot of color. <laughs> All right. So let me take some of that color back off. We don't need that much orange, I don't think. Um, but I mean, I do like it. Y'all know I like color. So there's that, and there's that. So, so far I like it. I think I'll go down here to the Sun Kiss collection and do the Lemon Lime Grass Be Gone which I love for some, especially ball fields. Oh, like sometimes that grass is terrible. Um, and then I might add a little bit of green grass back in. I know that sounds crazy, but I want it to be like green and not. So if I group these two together, you can see it makes a big difference to me, but whatever. Um, one thing that I could do and this is just off the top of my head, so I don't know. Um, for any of you guys that have my cloud set, one thing I could do is do fog, but as smoke, right? So I'm going to do place my fog, and then I'm going to go up here, and it's already pulled up my, my fog brush, but I'm going to pick one of these blues that we've been working with here, and I'll probably do it at, uh, I, well, you'll see. So, what I might do is just add a little bit in, especially up here um, and right there. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my, um, my child is losing his mind upstairs for some reason. Okay, so if I want to fade it, like it said, I could do this and leave a little bit, leave a little bit in there. So, I added a little bit of fog in there, which is, I like it a lot, but we'll see. Um, what I might do is just bring, change one of them to multiply and then do a normal one. So then we have these two right here. And then one thing I don't want to do is have it over the top of him. What you doing, Booba? But I'm going to take it off of him because I don't want it. I don't want it on him. And I still don't know if I want it on the grass or not. I'm just having a hard time deciding. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's the last thing that we did. And I'm, I'm not 100% on that. Um, I'll probably just leave it like that. So there's a couple of things that we could do here that might be neat. Um, in the Sunkiss collection, I don't know if y'all saw my video last week where I was doing, yeah, it was last week, the Christmas lights um, with uh, the bring on the boca but um i thought that was really cool and i thought it might be really neat on here but i guess we'll just have to see and it takes like a few minutes to run and i'm exporting my other video so it might just take a little while so there we go so 
And yes, I have on my glasses tonight because <laughs> my eyes are killing me. I need to go have LASIK done. So anyways, I thought it might be kind of cool. We'll just have to see. I mean, it definitely produces a different kind of situation here. So if you wanted something really surreal, I'm do, like way overdoing this just to show you what it looks like. Um, but it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do now, though, is go take it all back off. <laughs> but I'm thinking about putting it in um, just a couple of places. So I'm going to hit the Z key and zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to hit my brush again and put it on white. And I am going to do maybe a little bit, not right there, but it seems like it was really neat, like right around here or something. Where was it that it was kind of cool? I don't know. I did think it was really neat um, around the bottom here. So I'm going to do just a little bit through there and see how I like it. Take it back off of right there. I don't know. It just adds like a little just something extra. Maybe put some up there. What does that look like? Mm, I don't like that at all. Um, you know, just put it in a few little places where I think it would be cool. So... I even put some right there around him. The only thing I'll do is I'll go in and make sure that it doesn't look kind of weird like right there and right there. So, I like that. I wonder what it would look like on the baseball. Let's see. Do I have it on the right thing? No, I do not. <clears throat> don't care for it around the baseball. So anyways, we have that on there. Um, the other thing I think I might want to do with this one that I normally would not do is a paint on vignette and that is from the Kansas collection. Um, if you don't, if you were thinking about buying any of my actions and you don't have any of them, the Kansas collection to me is by far the best one. Um, I'm obviously going to reduce the opacity of that quite a bit. Uh, the other thing you could do on here, I guess if you wanted to, is bring that back up and go grab a solid color layer and pick, oh, well, I guess I can't because I just screwed that up. Pick a dark blue and hit a Command C to clip it. And you could get a nice little blue vignette there or you could even do multiply there. Um, which I kind of like. I kind of just like that. Um, if I'm being honest. So, I may just leave it like that. But see, that's kind of how these composites go, is that you, um, you know, you just start with them and you just see what you like and what you don't like. So I'm going to group those real quick and just see if I truly do, oops, if I truly do like it. And I do, I do, I like it a lot. So I'm going to flatten that. There was something else I considered doing, um, maybe in the Sunkiss collection here, the apple pie, just to see how this would look. I don't know, maybe not. I just thought maybe it would give it a little vintagey feel, but I think that blue kind of did it for us. So I'm gonna turn that off. Every once in a while I'll go in here to the gradient map and I'll add a great, oh, that black and white's kind of cool, isn't it? And I'll add a gradient map in here and really reduce the opacity just to give it a different look. But I, I kind of feel like that's what we were doing here, just not on the same level, just not as much. Um, you know, and you can, you can change this to different uh, blending modes as well. So, anyways, just a thought. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it drastically takes away from that blue. And so if I was gonna keep this, I would probably make sure I mask off like right here where he is. And maybe I'll keep that. So as you can see, I do quite a bit of hand editing as well as my actions. Um, I did just post something on my page. I usually don't really do flash sales, but um, I'm doing a 25% off sale of all of the actions. So that would be the Kansas collection, the Kansas collection for um, Elements, the fall collection, the sun kiss collection, um, and all of that. So, anyways, I encourage you 25% off is quite a bit um, on those. So, 
Um, let's see if there was anything else that I can think of that I would do to this. The only thing I don't really like on here is the crop, and I'm not sure that I can do anything about that now. Um, if you're watching the video, you will see what um, <laughs> how I was doing this all by myself, and so it looks a little. It was a little difficult to do. Um, and so you'll see that on the video why everything is not exactly the way that it should be. But I might consider extending my situation up here just a little bit because of how I kind of feel about that. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. But you see what I'm saying? This is try I could do this for like hours until I got it to where I wanted it to be. So, and that's the thing about composites is there's no right or wrong way. So you just kind of do it and... Eventually, you get it to a point where you like it. <clears throat> so that's what I just added right there. Um, as you can see, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I just want to make sure that I keep the darkness in up there. So I may end up doing that paint on vignette one more time. And uh, just do it up here again and reduce the opacity a lot. Something like that. So, anyways. I may not. I may just keep it as is. <laughs> so I think that's probably it. I may like do something else with the ball here or whiten the base, but that's kind of what I would do with it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a mix of hand editing and actions, but it's kind of a fun little thing. And the more that you do stuff like this, um, the more that you will get used to Photoshop and you'll be able to do like simple things that your clients need that you sometimes can't do or you feel like you can't do like head swaps. I see a lot of that um, a lot of the times. So anyways, thanks you guys for joining me. Okay, y'all know I do this like every single time I do one of these things. I changed my mind on a couple of things and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so I selected his bat and I'm gonna hit Command J and, oh, not that. And I want to move it this way just a little bit and reduce the opacity some and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of motion blur I don't normally do this so I'm not very well versed in it but basically you see where I'm trying to go with this I'm trying to make it look like you know his bat is being swung I mean it was being swung but you know what I'm saying I think I probably should turn the opacity up on that a little bit more and maybe bring it a little bit closer and then I'm gonna do it one more time I think what do you think one more time a little bit lower opacity one more time oh, hold on it didn't actually hold on I done mess something up step forward step backwards uh, okay one more and then we'll do that and bring the opacity down on that one a little bit I can't tell if the motion blur is on this one or not so let me see let me make sure there we go um, and then let me also do it on this one there we go all right, and then I, I guess I'll do it one more time. We'll see if we like the third or the fourth time. I guess it's the third time. I don't know. And then we'll do the motion blur on that one. So, let's group these all together and turn them off. And then turn them back on. And see what we think. I kind of like it. I think it looks kind of neat. I'm almost wondering <laughs> if I need one more. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I know, there's something wrong with me. I need to bring the opacities down on all these just a little bit. So that was 76, 55, 47, and then go a little bit lower on that one. Okay, so I like that. The other thing is that whole ball situation is bothering me, so we got to take care of that. I need like an actual something that looks like a baseball. So, there we go. 
Um, let me turn this off real quick and get rid of the current baseball. Ugh. It was just bothering me. I know that's not what a baseball looks like. So, even though, I mean, it is an actual baseball. Okay, so we need to make it smaller. What I would really like to do, and I don't know how to do this, but I may can figure it out. <clears throat> First of all, I need to cool this, the color of the ball off. And then let's also maybe make it bright. I don't know. I don't know. And then what I want to do is feather the selection here. So let me select these pixels and maybe feather it, something like that. And deselect it and let's check it out. So I do like that. Let me go ahead and merge these so we can keep working with it. Let me move it here just a second. I'm wondering about this whole motion blur thing if we copied the ball and let's try let's try a motion blur and just see what happens with it the problem is it needs to just go one way you know what i mean like that's what i don't like about it is that it goes like you can't i'm sure there's a way to do it and i'm not doing it correctly um so let me look at this real quick let me get in here real quick. So I guess if I mask off this side, it would do it right. Is that right? Like that. Yes, I like it. And actually this is behind the ball, so I could just do it like that. And I could probably, um, Duplicate it and do that number right there. So let's see what we're looking at here So let's group all this together and see if if we like the changes that we just made To make this a more dynamic Image, what do you think? I mean look it's a little over the top, but I mean isn't that what we're trying to do here? <laughs> I mean, seriously <laughs> is not that realistic of a image I do almost think that that ball needs to be blurred itself like the actual one that we're doing here what is a shape blur oh, that's weird never mind see there's stuff in Photoshop I've never even seen before so I think that we'll blur the actual um, ball just a little bit too what do you think about that so now let's go in. I'm going to hit uh, Command X and I'm going to fade that a little bit because I don't want it to be blurred that much. You know what I mean? And the other thing you can do is I could duplicate that, um, the actual ball itself, and drag it down here and make it small again. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to where it's uh, big enough for me to do something with. So just do something right here, make it small. And you know, if you wanted a shadow, if you wanted to make it really um, sort of believable, like that. That also needs to be blurred though. So maybe not with the motion blur though. Maybe with just like a regular old. Maybe just a regular old blur. It's probably too much. And I mean, I don't know that that's necessary. I just thought, what the heck? We're doing all this other stuff. Okay. So I think that's finally it. I don't even know if I like that. Uh, not that. I don't know if I like that um, whole situation I just did there. So I'm going to turn that down to five. Um, and so I do like that. If I was going to do a gradient, I showed y'all that gradient, and I thought the gradient was kind of awesome. So, I may do that, too, a little bit, because I like that one a lot. So, now I promise I'm finally over with. <laughs> um, and so, that's the image. So, if you want to see where we started, and, of course, I don't have that one open, like an idiot. And I think at this point, I don't think I can go back that far on Photoshop, because I've done so much stuff. Let's see. Let's see if I can go to the original image. There's the original image. 
And there's our vinyl image. Hold on, let me do this so you can see it. Um, right here. Original. Final. So there we go. All right, now I promise I'm finally done. So, anyways, thanks, guys. <laughs>